Friday morning, my friends. We made it to Friday. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa, and this is the MLive Morning Weather Update, where we're going to talk about a storm system, of course, our Saturday storm, which is a snowstorm for some of you, and it's a rain system for most others. I will say, as far as population goes, most of us will get mostly all rain out of this. Uh, so, Let's get into it, and let's also see if we can find some spring, and we can. Some slow, gradual, uh, but solid spring signs coming up here. All right, so here is the Winter Storm Watch area. The Winter Storm Watch is for 8 a.m. tomorrow to 11 p.m. tomorrow, and it stretches from Pentwater, Hart, um, Ludington, Baldwin, up through Cadillac, Houghton Lake, West Branch, northward to the Mackinac Bridge and uh, the Sioux, and yes, uh, Traverse City, Cadillac area, and all of northern Lower Michigan under that winter storm watch. Here's the radar forecast. All right, here's the radar forecast from the model that I like in this situation. And so we go into midnight tonight. And probably starting off as showers because we're going to be in the 40s, well into the 40s today. And so we're at 3, 4... 5 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, 6, 7, 8. That's when all of the modeling shows that cold rare aloft starts to get dragged down in the heavier precipitation and things change things to snow. I will say this will be a marginal event, at least on the southern fringes of the watch area, because your temperatures are going to be 33, 34 degrees, 9 in the morning, 10, 11, noon. So this would say, and all the other models would say, that at noontime, it's snowing pretty hard across all of northern Michigan, maybe down through Big Rapids, maybe changing over to snow in the Grand Rapids area, still at 33, 34 degrees. One, two, three, four, five o'clock in the afternoon. So this thing is moving pretty quickly. Still snowing in the north. The intensity is coming down. Snow is swinging through the thumb, through Saginaw, Flint, as in often on snow showers and temperatures at 35. So probably not accumulating in those regions of the thumb, uh, Saginaw Valley, Flint area, even Ann Arbor and Detroit. You could see some snow showers. And then we go to 10, 11, and midnight Midnight Sunday, I always like to remind people that midnight is the next day. So Saturday at 11, we'll call it, and it's done. All right, so how much are we looking at? So we'll use the same model because I found that it does the best. Now, again, remember, models uh, don't do a couple of things. This one always predicts 10 inches of snow to one inch of water. This is probably an eight inches of snow to one inch of water. So this forecast I'm showing you probably will be too high in snow forecast by one or two inches. And you'll also have maybe the first inch or two melting. So I would call it, you know, a five to seven inch snow in the heaviest areas. Let's go back to that. So you take... Uh, Oh, you know, take a line from about Hart, Baldwin, up to Houghton Lake, up to Oscoda. North and west of that, I would call it 5 to as much as 10 inches, but a lot of 5, 6, 7 inch heavy wet snows. All of the northern third of lower Michigan. Saginaw, Bay City, you might get an inch on the, on the grass before it melts quickly. Uh, it would have to come down in a pretty good spurt to do it. Grand Rapids, you might get two inches. Again, 
on the grass. Once it stops, it can go away pretty quickly in, in the matter of like an hour or two. Otherwise, for those in the southeast, uh, then we're looking at about a half inch or a little more on uh, rainfall. Uh, Saginaw to Lansing into Ann Arbor and Detroit. So another solid rain. And this is what starts to get the grass greening up. So that'll be kind of a wake up rain in the south. Hey, good morning, Eric Korthels from also from Frankenmuth. Hey, good morning. Uh, Bill Beeshamp, what about West Branch? Okay, well, West Branch, you probably, you're, should be in the snow, I would say three to five inches in West Branch. All right, so this is the European model, and there's our storm system going bye-bye. And so Sunday, things clean up very quickly. Monday might have a little spurt of some rain and snow across southern lower, far southern lower, six-hour period, nothing significant. Tuesday and Wednesday look dry. And then, of course, we get toward the weekend, and what do we get? We get our once-a-week storm system. Hey, I just realized we got to get off this pattern in a big way before summer hits, right? We cannot have this once a week rain on Saturday, Mother Nature. We are going to have to have a talk with her. Um, usually, you know, as we go into the summer, the pattern becomes more irregular, but you could see that if this pattern continues, ooh, we got to get it to inch up to Friday and Thursday so it's not here on the weekend. So this is next weekend, and this storm system pulling up farther to the west, getting more of Michigan into the warm sector of the storm. Uh, Mark Morey, going to Alpena next week, should travel be okay? Yeah. We're only dealing with this thing on Saturday. Uh, Sheboygan, Marianne North, yes, definitely for you. Five to seven to maybe as much as 10 inches. All right, so now we're out 10 days out. We're into April 2nd, and you can kind of see that the warmth is slowly shifting north. You can also see that there's still a solid reservoir of cold in Canada, so solid. So, and that's what's going to keep the temperatures from bursting into summer. That's what's going to kind of put a lid on the rate of warming and bring us a gradual, very nice April weather in April. Temperatures, highs today in the 40s. Tomorrow, how about almost 60 in Ann Arbor and Detroit and Monroe and, um, parts of Oakland County. Um, and then how about only 42 in Grand Rapids and 44 in Saginaw Bay City? And how about only 33 or so in Traverse City? And that's where the snowstorm is. Then Sunday, if you can wait to travel till Sunday, then you're looking at Better road conditions in the north because as you get to 36, 38 degrees, uh, plowed roads would melt off very quickly. Southern part of the state where it doesn't snow, we'll make it to 50 degrees. A little bit of a cool patch next week. Okay, I'll take some questions here um, in a minute. Uh, Pam Grand Mison uh, driving Everett early on Sunday. If you should be all right. Snow will all be done if you wait till 9 or 10 o'clock on Sunday, then your road should be uh, just fine. Now, here's Monday in the four, low 40s. Here's Tuesday, mid 40s. Here's Wednesday, mid to upper 40s. Here's Thursday. Not so sure about that. You know, if you get a northeast wind, you could have a cool day with highs in the upper 30s. And then as that next storm approaches, we warm into the 50s. And then in the 60s, this one shows maybe 70 degrees in the Detroit area next Saturday. Of course, that all depends on the track and the, and the timing of a storm system. 
and if you get an hour or two of sunshine when you're in the warm uh, sector. And then uh, next Sunday. So it is it is slowly starting to get there. All right, now, um, here's, here's a bonus weather thing for you. How does that sound? We're going to look out 46 days. The European model does a 46-day forecast, and it updates about every three days. It updated yesterday. So what we're going to look at, is the surface temperature, the ground temperature, anomaly, you know, variation from normal. It's a five-day average, and it keeps moving along out to 46 days. So it'll, go, it'll take us out into May. And what you'll notice is that in all, over the 46 days, we probably see more days that shade cooler than normal, than warmer than normal but only by about a degree. And when we get the warmer than normals, only by about a degree too. And that's my theory why April will be about like April should be. And we don't know what normal is in Michigan usually because it's up and down. And certainly even if April is normal, we'll have up and down temperatures, but it doesn't look like anything extreme. So to me, that says a very nice spring pattern for those who enjoy a nice progression into spring. So here is the uh, five-day temperature anomaly into early April, April 2nd. Uh, and that is four degrees Fahrenheit colder than normal, which is still chilly. And then we go to April 5th and we start to go to normal. And we go through to April 9th and you see the one shading of colder than normal. So that's about two degrees colder than normal. And then we go to April 13th, and it's one shading warmer than normal. That's two degrees warmer than normal. That's very nice. Mid-April, that means, um, you know, 55 to 65 degrees for afternoon temperatures. Very nice. Uh, April 20th, start to shade just slightly two degrees colder than normal. April 26th normal to just slightly cooler than normal. May 2nd, normal. Um, May 6th, May 7th, normal. And there is why I'm saying that actually that, that reservoir of cold up in Canada right now is kind of keeping a lid. If that wasn't so solid, boom, I think we'd burst into some very warm weather, which a lot of people would just love. Um, but then the old uh, complaint in Michigan is we go from winter to summer. And uh, this year it looks like we're going to have an April. A lot of 50s and 60s for highs in April. And we're probably going to have that once a week rain system. There's your weather update. I'll keep you updated on the snow in northern lower Michigan and with some posts. But get ready for a big heavy wet one. It won't last long because um, sun comes out on Sunday and it'll gradually start to melt. And is it the last one? Probably. If we don't get another one next weekend, it probably will be very difficult for cold air to be in place for any additional snowstorms. Hey, hey. <laughs> it doesn't take rocket science because it'll be April by then. Thanks for joining me on this Friday. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Have yourselves a great weekend. Bye.